Praise the Lord. Spiritual principles of effective prayer. Now we go to verse 25 of the book of Second Chronicles. And this is what we will be, where we will be ending on the story of Joshua. When Joshua and his people came to take away their spoil, they found among them an abundance of valuables on the dead bodies and precious jewels which they stripped off for themselves more than they could carry away. And there were three days gathering the spoil because there was so much. And on the fourth day, they assembled in the valley of Barak. For there they blessed the Lord. Therefore, the name of that place is called the Valley of Barak until this day. Then they returned every man of Judah and Jerusalem, Joshua in front of them, to go back to Jerusalem with joy. For the Lord had made them rejoice over their enemies. So they came to Jerusalem with stringed instruments and harps and trumpets to the house of the Lord. And the fear of the Lord was all on all the kingdoms of those countries that had that the Lord had fought against the enemies of Israel. Then the realm of Josephus was quiet for God, for his God gave him rest all around. Now, what is the purpose of victory? When God gives us victory, in victory there is plunder. We, 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 we take back everything the enemy had, had stolen, including what the enemy had, he, he came with. We take it back. So after this battle, like what Israel is going through today, Israel will come back wealthier, richer, with a expanded territory, I can assure you. And why is it going to, to happen like that? Because God is a covenant-keeping God. And he will do this to Israel. And also, through what God is going to do for Israel, the nations of the world and the kingdoms of the world will fear the Lord. The fear of the Lord is going to hit every palace every stable, every city, every household, every individual among the nations of the, of the world as they hear of the victory that God is, he is giving his covenant people, the Israelites. I pray that in your battle, God gives you victory so sweet, victory so powerful, Victory so wonderful, victory so magnificent that all the people of the world will look at what God has done for you and fear the Lord, worship him, and acknowledge that he is truly the living God. Blessings. Thank you so very much. God bless you. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for today. Thank you for teaching us these great things, reminding us of the principles of effective prayer. Lord, we are celebrating you because you have done great and awesome things in our lives. I ask you, Lord, allow your spirit to move in our lives and cause us, O oh God, to see your victory from today and forever. Lord, Help us plunder the enemy and help us, oh God, regain territory and gain even more territory to the glory and honor of your name. I pray for those pastors and ministers who have suffered battles and who have been fought, those individuals that have gone through a lot of battle. Lord, the enemy thought they were finished, but let their victory be so sweet, loud, and great that it will just declare fear among the nations we give you praise and glory in jesus name amen this broadcast was brought to you by angelos tv
To continue enjoying this spiritual nourishment, click on subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video. Thank you and see you in our next broadcast.